We x-ray every one of our dogs when they're at age appropriate. We x-ray for multiple reasons. One, we want to guarantee that the dogs we're developing and training are going to be physically sound. And we're also x-raying for breeding purposes to know which of our dogs that we're developing have the potential to be breed stock. And we're also x-raying to make sure that if the dog has mild hip dysplasia that we're taking preventative measures. Getting a dog checked at this age can hopefully prevent a lot of problems down the road. That's, it's all preventive, you know. But most of these issues, hip problems, uh, shoulder problems, elbow problems, they're not going to show themselves. They're not going to present any symptoms until the dog is three, four, or five years of age. It gives us an idea of the likelihood of him developing hip dysplasia when he gets older. A lot of people say, oh, he, he looks fine. Okay, he doesn't need x-rays. You cannot see with the naked eye. Radiographs that we, we take um, give you a, a, a picture that you can't get anywhere else. When you're investing in a personal protection dog, you need some kind of guarantee that the dog's going to have a lifespan that justifies the expense. You don't go get a car without driving it. You, you, you better take it to a mechanic and have them test it out. So if you're looking to buy a dog and you ask the breeder, does this dog have OFA uh, parents? and they don't even know what that means, that's probably a pretty good symptom that you should run. I think it's imperative to cross the T's, dot the I's, look under the stones, make sure that there aren't problems. When you invest in a dog like that, you want some guarantees that the dog is gonna be physically sound.